Okay, so now jump into the news. And if you want to discuss any particular news, feel free to unmute yourself and start talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a free floor. So uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people celebrated or were very upset, but uh, on the 31st of December, uh, Adobe officially discontinued Adobe Flash. Uh, after 24 years, I think, 25. So that was a piece of technology that I'm sure uh, a lot of people familiar with. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll we'll encounter it from time to time. But yeah, that's it. Apparently, no more Adobe Flash. Drupal 9.1 was out. If you were at the previous meetup, I did the full presentation. What's there? But it's uh, quite a big release. There's a lot of actually visual and front end changes, as well as the back end changes like Composer 2 and PHP 8 compatibility. So if you didn't have checked it out, jump online and see what's in 9.1. Or if you updated to 9.1 already and want to share your story, that's another opportunity to speak. PHP documentation moved to Git from SVN. So yeah, it's, it's always interesting to see, especially for the big projects like PHP, to see that they actually were managing stuff or, you know, in quite a uh, different repo because you would think, by default, everyone's already on Git doing stuff like that. But here you go. So PHP documentation and some of the translations are actually now part on the GitHub. So if you want to contribute, update, or help, you know, produce a better uh, documentation, add an example you're always looking for, um, that's a good opportunity to go and check them out. So github.com slash php slash doc dash base. Uh, so jQuery UI uh, library definitions that were left in Drupal 9, uh, now they've been marked deprecated. And uh, so it means that they will be uh, disabled in Drupal, I mean, removed in Drupal 10, which is out in June, approximately June 2022, which is not too far away. It's actually a bit more than 15 months. Um, AWS keeps supporting packages. Packages is the, um, uh, I guess, definition for a lot of um, Symfony and Composer repositories that we use for Drupal as well. So AWS continue to uh, support them and host them as well by giving them credit. So kudos to AWS. Uh, New coding standard. So if you didn't check out the uh, new pull request on Drupal.org, so now there is also you can embed the coding standard check, including JavaScript and CSS. Uh, but yeah, there are some uh, extensions to the CI with the new pull request system if you're contributing to Drupal. Drupal's 20th anniversary is coming. I, I was just looking for a bit about this tweet, thinking what it, what is the, all that about? So yeah, the Drupal community is asking about maybe your memories and stuff to share, or if you just uh, have any ideas how we can celebrate it, make a cake, bake a bread, uh, let me know. But yeah, Drupal 20th anniversary is coming, and this is a whole anniversary year. So 20 years for technologies and Four more years, it's going to be flash. I hope not, but we'll see. Uh, PHP unit Drupal initiative, uh, completion of the goal. So, and framework now was moved to a separate module. So if you want to do PHP unit testing, there is actually a module for it now. So PHP unit initiative is now officially complete. So if you're into testing, and especially PHP unit testing, check them out. Uh, Drupal, if, in terms of events, DrupalCon North America was um, announced in December and it will be online. Uh, the early bird registrations and tickets are now on sale. There is no call for papers as yet. I think it's coming up next month, but we'll, I'll keep you updated when uh, is it going to be uh, available. But yeah, check them out. Go to Drupal. 
con website uh, that's the biggest conference and they're also looking for some ideas as well as they're going to bring some changes to the conference because again it's an online event and they already hold held two conferences two online conferences last year so i hope yeah it's going to be bigger and better and you can attend it from australia without paying exuberant prices for flights which is even better and if you purchase the ticket um, yeah, it would help Drupal Association to sustain Drupal.org project and all other things they do. And Contribution Weekend, Drupal Global Contribution Weekend is coming up on January 29, 31st. I'm still chasing a few things with the library and see if we can book a room here. Uh, I also, if you are interested in attending it in Brisbane, if you're in Brisbane interested to attend it, let me know which better day suits you uh, and we might work around with that as well so at the moment it's an open date between january 29 and 31st i think it's thursday friday saturday or friday saturday sunday so but i'm pretty keen to do face to face and we have a good room in library and i think library bookings are not suspended uh, last time i heard so they're back on. So if you're interested to do hands-on uh, contribution to your favorite project, or if you're looking for a lead, how to contribute to Drupal, it doesn't have to be a code. You can work on documentation or testing. Feel free to yeah, reach out and we will we'll help you out. <laughs>